teams in it. So these two really are pretty close in all of the stats. This is the Philippines against Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. This fight is three rounds of five minutes in the 1FC featherweight division. And the fight is presented to you by AMC Live. Our judges scoring this fight at cage side are Joey Lepiden from the Philippines, Kemp Cheng from Chinese Taipei, and Kim Lee Tan from Malaysia. Chinese Taipei, let's witness a battle! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Sanda and a Digma fighter. Standing at 171 centimeters tall, weighing in at 65.7 kilograms with a professional record of 10 wins and one loss. Fighting out of Muay Fit, he is the Philippine featherweight champion, Eric the Natural Kelly! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, standing at 172 centimeters tall, weighing in at 65.8 kilograms, with a professional record of 14 wins and five losses. Fighting out of Phuket Thai team in Thailand, he is the top Australian featherweight prospect, Rob Ruthless Lesito! And when the action begins, your referee in charge of this battle, Yuji Shimada. Okay, five minutes, three rounds, no headbutting, no growing, no blunt fans. Average she fight, average fight. That's close. Go up. That's Emily Chu. Judge. 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 And this You're is ready. our main event You're of ready. the evening, featuring Rob Lasita and Eric Kelly. This fight is brought to you by AMC Live Group. And a fast start from Lasita, who like goes banging with both hands. Knees to the body from both men. Yeah, can't say we're surprised. We knew that Rob was going to come out of here fast and furious. And Eric's doing a good job of nullifying it and just weathering that storm. A lot of dirty boxing going on in the first 15, 20 seconds. And this fight has massive title implications. Whoever comes out of the winner here could easily be right next in line for that featherweight crack at the belt. Certainly, Nasita thinks that's uh, next in line for him if he wins this. I would imagine Eric also feels the same way. Nasita's in on it. Single leg and really just kind of trying to muscle it through. Looking for a front guillotine. He's really just muscling Eric Kelly. He looks the bigger man, doesn't he, Nasita? He does. He definitely does. And I think he's, he's stronger, obviously. I mean, Eric's much more of a precise striker, but... Be careful of the knees on the head here. Now that's a deep guillotine choke. Yeah, that's really deep. This is going to be interesting to see if Eric Kelly can defend from here. Oh, Rob just let it go. That's it, that's it. That's it. it looked like he was in a really good position there, didn't it? For a while. It, it looked deep. Oh, almost had that. Throw, that jiggle throw there. Just didn't pop his hips enough to go all the way through with it. Eric's got to be careful. He keeps getting his head snapped down there by Lasita, and he's going to eat some knees. It's a lot of pressure that Kelly's had on his neck in the uh, minute and a half of this contest that we've had. Yeah. I mean, Rob Lasita has just been muscling Eric Kelly all over the place. Oh, oh nice kick. kick. Yeah. And, and Rob, Rob Lasita has been calling for this fight too before he signed with 1FC. He said, I want to fight Eric Kelly. And after his first win, he said, I wanted Eric Kelly. And I, I'm interested to see why that was. I mean, obviously, Eric Kelly is one of the most highly talked about prospects. And Eric has a, a complete bag of tricks. Is that front choke. This is tight on the neck of Eric Kelly. Kelly bleeding from the nose. This is kind of a funky choke, though, because some guys will tap from that, and some guys, it's just really uncomfortable. Takes a knee to the head, the Filipino. Nasita just looks the stronger man with their body to body like this, and gripping each other, and Kelly's neck has been under so much strain. Nice hands from Kelly, a left and a right. Kelly just throws nice one-two combinations. Oh, oh he got left. It was a heavy punch. 
Oh, the swinging right. You know, I almost said that this is the first one I've seen we've gone through without getting a, you a almost shot said it. in the you baby almost said it. <laughs> Man, didn't want to jinx us. I thought about that, but we were almost there. So close to being a, a non groin struck 1FC event. But Rob Lestida <laughs> will get up for five minutes if he needs it. That was clearly unintentional. Eric's arguably one of the nicest guys you're ever going to meet outside of the cage. And that left hook, and Rob just wants to plant and exchange punches. Eric's a little more of an outside boxer. And that really messes up the rhythm, too. If you're a pinpoint striker like Eric yeah, likes to stop. be, when a he's guy's stop. constantly pressuring and he's in your face, you have to rely on counter striking. You can't really set your punches up as much okay. as you'd like to. It disrupts your rhythm. Well within the five minutes that he was allowed, Rob Lissita gets back into this one. Another nice takedown by Rob. Caught that kick. Now we've seen Eric work off his back before. Oh, he's looking for a heel hook. This is dangerous positions for both men because, you know, this is like almost a 50-50. Rob's got that leg in deep and he's hooking that. Eric's fishing for some legs. He wants to either untangle Rob's feet or start attacking his feet. He had to let go because he was getting brutalized to the face of the And now Kelly oh, just missed spin. the back. Overshot it by about four or five inches. It's a cracking contest. Is a cracker it is. Minute and ten left. Eric is very active off his back. One minute into the first round. And there's that sweat with a huge factor. Nice work by Eric, keeping nice pressure on Rob. He's like, oh, you see Eric going for the back again. He feels that neck. You know, one of the things I like about how Eric T Kelly takes the back is that you don't necessarily need to have your hooks in first. As we've seen before, if you feel that neck exposed, you can just throw your arm in there and sink it like the Titanic. Now then, that's not deep enough. But man, Eric Kelly sticking on Rob Lucido like Velcro. And he's really come back into this contest because he was under the cosh for the first couple of minutes or so. Just grazes the chin of Eric Kelly. Big props to Kelly for working his way back into this contest. It looked for a while as if Lasita was just simply stronger. Oh, and he just hit him with a nice short right hook. Second time in the last minute that Lasita just cuffs Eric Kelly around the jaw as they pull out. Well, ruthless was just absolutely ruthless. Eric just missed that hip throw, but Rob has been all over Eric on the ground just with a barrage of strikes. Kicks, punches, knees. You see here, he looked for the submission. It really wasn't deep enough. A couple of spots where Eric jumped on Rob's back to. Unintentional, uh, unintentional groin strike. And you see here the ankle lock. Rob's been very active. We're looking for submissions and positions. Eric yeah, also hopped on Rob's back a few times. Rob looks like Let's he's breathing a little heavier than he should be just for the, uh, the first round here. It's one of the, the tolls you pay when you're that aggressive. Eric, much fresher. Red corner, seconds out, please. Red corner, seconds out. The red corner giving a um, bit of a telling off from Lenny Hart there. Get out quickly, boys. We're eager for the action. Very entertaining first round. Lasita had the early going. Right. Kelly had the later going. Well, Rob looks a little bit more tired here. But man, you wouldn't know it by the way he's winning on punches. Both of them swimming early on as they were in the initial moments of the first round. Rob's got Eric's back. He does it. That looks, oh, he's bleeding like a sieve from the nose. Now, what would you say so far in that first round, Mr. Rich Franklin, as far as aggression goes? It's been quite a bit back and forth, uh, really even. They both had a little bit of ground control, uh, landed some effective strikes, but in this case, uh, I'm going to give the, the first round so far to uh, Lucita through aggression. Yeah, the, the aggression so far through the first five minutes has definitely been 
Lacita, and it looks like there is a faucet opened up, and it's bleeding ketchup. Really tremendous amount of blood on the canvas yeah, that's, there. that's a lot. That that could be a broken nose when you separate, uh, you know, like a deviated septum, you break your nose. Those will just stream blood. Uh, I imagine that Yuji's going to have to stop this here, just just to double check on it, but he doesn't want to stop it when Rob's in such an advantageous position. You see, Yuji just looked up. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. oh, Eric Kelly, he caught Rob sleeping. Kelly just pulled this one out of the bag. Wow, that was, that was craziness. It doesn't look as if he wants to go for it. Yuji wants to have a look at that face. And he's, oh, wow. It's just, it's just in a really bad way. Well, it could just be a bloody nose. I mean, you know, you take a little bit of blood, it looks like a, an absolute massacre, but... You know, Eric Kelly definitely caught Lasita sleeping there. He jumped on his back. He's trying to see if it's an internal injury or external on the nose. It's, there is a little mark on the, yeah. the, doctor on the taking exterior of the nose. Not, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's almost certainly broken, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I would imagine with bleeding that much, broken noses. And you know, one of the intangibles, too, when a nose breaks, all that blood goes down the back of your throat. And you have a mouthpiece in, so your breathing is already restricted. It's a nightmare, yeah. Yeah, Tiago Alves kicked my butt and broke my nose. Man, I just remember thinking, like, this is what breathing feels like. I don't remember it ever being this uncomfortable. You know, and, uh, and that just really it just hinders it tremendously. Now, Rob Lucita slow to get up, too. I'm a little concerned as to what's going on. Rob's still sitting down in the center of the cage. We got a shot here of Eric Kelly. See here, Rob, this doesn't look... And he's breathing hard as well as he was in between rounds, Rob Lucita. Yeah, and I can't tell if he's hanging out there from an injury or if he's just kind of taking his time because he's a, he's a little fatigued, but slow to get up either way. He doesn't, doesn't look comfortable. He's getting a good mopping down because he's obviously swathed in blood. I think Rob wants to start back on the ground. Ah, that's what he's oh, going okay. for, is it? Yeah, okay. So, I guess it's Yuji's call on this one. And... No, you ground. You ground. Yeah, you ground. It's like a, uh, like a college wrestling match. Okay, okay, ready? You know, that's pretty close to where it was, too, because I even think that uh, Eric Kelly may have had a deeper hook in, but you could say, yeah, the nose is definitely broken on Eric Kelly. It's, it's dripping a lot. And all that extra blood and sweat. <laughs> it's gonna be a slip oh, fest. good kick from the Sita. Looking towards that face that has already suffered so much damage, damage from the Filipino. Well, Eric Kelly is a warrior of nothing else. And, oh, and a nice late trip. And Lucida, just a great job of staying on top. The canvas is, is pretty slippery there, and that's going to be an issue. Absolutely. I mean, that can really be a hindrance in, in throwing kicks and things, too. And just, this is where cardio plays such a gargantuan factor because you lose so much of your hold on your grip on your opponent for submissions and for other things. You know, it really just becomes constantly being able to push and pull and move and roll with the punches. You're the corner, Rob will see the same. Just make him bleed more and just keep working on it. Keep attacking where he's weak. I think that's a chapter out of Art of War, isn't it? The corner asking for short elbows. Anything that goes in the area of the nose is going to be a problem, but knees to the nose are really heavy, heavy blows. Yeah, and strategically, too, Lucida, if he keeps working on the nose of Eric Kelly, that may be enough for Yuji to stop the fight. Yeah, yeah. Whether or not Eric Kelly wants the fight stopped, so staying busy on that is definitely not a bad idea. Well, you can see the extent of the damage just by looking at the canvas beneath Eric Kelly. Oh, Eric Kelly moves his way into the half mount. Again, man, this is just what we talk about back and forth. This is so, this is so fatiguing. It's like a game of human twister. Left hand canvas, right arm choke. Well, it's so slippery in there for these two, mainly because of the blood. But uh, towards the end of the second round here, there's a lot of perspiration as well. One minute 30, Rob, one minute 30. Okay. Sita does look tired. Well, it's been a frantic pace, and you know, Eric Kelly, oh, he's got oh that choke in deep. This could be a very bad spot for Rob if he's not able to peel Eric Kelly's hands off. You know, you can do that. That's, that is really deep, and it's over. Eric Kelly with the triumphant oh, return. And look how distraught Rob Lasita is. Oh, Rob is, Rob is just 
absolutely devastated by this loss. But man, you cannot take this away from him. Look at Eric Kelly. I think both men could be in tears, Jason. Lasita is absolutely beside himself. But Kelly has come back from a position where the fight could have been stopped at any moment due to that horrific nose injury. Eric Kelly just headhunting too, back and forth. So many rear naked choke attempts, and finally Eric punched the right ticket. He you just take a look did here. not give up. Yeah, I mean, we take a look here at the action, and it was just a rock'em sock'em robot contest, a tremendous amount of blood, and that's where you saw Eric Kelly just found Rob Lasita sleeping a little bit and jumped on his back. And then this beautiful outside leg trip, and then Rob just did a spectacular job of rolling with it and getting back up. Back and forth. Just a crazy amount of action. And it was just an even fight all the way through. And then finally, you see, he doesn't even have the hooks in there. That's Marcelo Garcia 101. You see a neck, you go for it. Start choking if it's in deep enough. Both of those men, you could see, absolutely spent at the end of that. And Eric Kelly has just engineered himself right back into title contention. I wonder if a rematch with uh, Honorio Bonario is perhaps in the future. Or will he go straight to the title shot? Ladies and gentlemen, referee Yuji Shimada calls a halt to this battle at 3 minutes 43 seconds of round number two for your winner via submission by rear naked choke. Eric, the natural killer! He felt that he was on the verge of a title shot. Now he's got work to do to get himself back into that position. Strong, strong man and a brave man too, but oh, he really is upset. Victor Kui in there with a quick word, the CEO of 1FC, exchanging words with Eric. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with one of the top prospects in Asia. You showed the world why you were highly regarded here tonight. We haven't seen you in 18 months. First of all, welcome back. And second of all, great job. Uh, first of all, I thank to my, I thank to Sir Victor Kui for giving me a chance to fight. I thank you, Sir uh, Brother Robert Lisita, for uh, taking the fight. I have a good experience. Thank you for the Pocket Tap, Pocket Tap team. All the people are helping me. Well, Rob's a very, very tough, uh, very tough opponent for anyone. He comes out and he's super aggressive. What surprised you about that fight? Uh, for me, I just come here to try my skill. If I can do, if I can, uh, uh, I can match myself to Brother Rob. He's a tough guy, but I'm a fighter that uh, I will try to do my best. Even though if uh, I cannot punch, I cannot walk. There's a time I cannot fight, but I still, I, I, I still, I can. Still can punch, still can kick, that's why I'm fighting. Well, you have all the heart in the world, and this moves you up the food chain here at the 1FC. What do you think's next for you? Uh, I just wait for Sir Victor Kui for his uh, words. When is my next fight? Well, we want to know when your next fight is, too, and I'm sure it's going to be right around the corner. Let's make a deal. No more 18 months off, okay? You got to be back in this cage sooner than later. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a big hand for your winner, Eric Kelly!